Oh, hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and man, do I feel like shit. Well, you look like shit, Gorilla. You ate every piece of goddamn candy in the house. Oh yeah, that was a crazy Halloween party. I guess I have a Halloween hangover. That is not a thing. Sure it is, Jess. Just like with all these leftover Mego horror figures I have. Well, October is over, Gorilla. Well, the reviews continue, because it's a Mego Halloween hangover. Now I feel sick. Raz Holly, hit the music! Never hear it on the radio. continues to crank out horror themed figures, but on the bright side, they seem to be not only better than the rest of the new Mego offerings, but a lot of them are very solid for the low price point. While I didn't get them all, I still got enough of these horror figures that I couldn't fit everything into the month of October, so let's check out some more Mego horror figures. Alright, so here is... Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Colin Hyde, part of the horror line, 17 and up. Again, uh, anyone under the age of 17 would surely die should they uh, open up and handle one of these things. So thank you, thank you, Migo Marty, for protecting us from ourselves and uh, not letting any child um, uh, hold one of these uh, very dangerous, um, very, very dangerous figures. Uh, eight inch action figure, 14 points of articulation. Um, no original quality or, or whatever the fuck, retro packaging. All that is gone for 2020 and 19 or whenever the fuck this came out. Um, oh wait a minute, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality. They hit it down here at the bottom. Um, very nice looking uh, box art here. We've got the, um, the face um, that looks really cool, um, kind of emanating from this uh, image of a man drinking from a beaker. Uh, the story of uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He was doing some sort of goopy fucking experiments and uh, he drank this fucking goo and uh, turned into a hideous fucking monster that represented the sort of uh, his evil or darker nature. Um, and as you can see the figure in the box, um, I don't know how fucking frightening he is or how much he looks like the Mr. Hyde that I imagine. Um, he looks okay. He looks more like fucking Peter Laurie from, uh, or is it Hugh Laurie? It's what? Not Hugh Laurie, that's fucking house. Fucking Peter Laurie, right? The guy's fucking Igor. Yes, master, yes, like that. That's who it fucking looks like to me with his cross eye, his stupid fucking buck ass teeth. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not really a fan of the head sculpt on this one. I mean, it, it's, it is what it is, and it's a choice, so I can't really hate on it too much. Looks like he does come with his top hat. As we turn the box around, um, we have the, uh, the image, a silhouette of a Mr. Hyde. Um, with his cane, which he does not come with, I don't believe so, our official Mego Monsters logo, um, which is not on the front of the box for some reason, so it seems like a big fucking afterthought. Um, the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Cohen Hyde, 8 inch action figure, 14 points articulation, and uh, no, no trivia this time, no trivia, but as always, our, our, uh, our old friend, fucking Mego Marty is there, you don't want to make me angry, because I'll drink my secret super serum, and I'll become Mr. Mego! <laughs> Alright, so let's get this fucking thing out of the box and see what it looks like. All right. 
right, so here he is out of the box, and um, I'm gonna admit the true reason as to why I, I purchased uh, Mr. Hyde here um, was that I wanted to use his uh, costume. I do believe the costume is very cool. It is a late 19th century London gentleman, and um, I do plan on doing a custom figure of a Jack the Ripper. And uh, this costume, top hat and all, um, will will do me just fine. He does come with a top hat. It fits on his on his goofy looking fucking head. He has green skin. Um, he's not terrible looking. At least he came and his fucking leg is attached and he has you know two right he has a right hand and a left hand uh, a right foot left foot he's not fucking broken um there's really not a lot of bad things you can say about him he's posable the 14 points of articulation that's not a lie um the clothes look very cool on him and that's exactly why i bought the fucking figure um if you like the look of this, I'm not mad at you. This is a, is a very cool figure um, for what it is. Um, and you know, I just want it for different reasons. Um, I'm gonna you know, make something which I think is gonna be fucking cool out of it. So, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll use the this fucking, the figure um, and, and make uh, Igor. Yes, master, yes, <laughs> All right, so next up is Pennywise. Uh, viewers of the show will uh, remember that I'm not a super fan of either of the of the movies, uh, any of the four fucking movies, the, the two original TV movies, or the two modern uh, remakes, the gritty, itty, shitty remakes of, uh, of It, uh, the movie, um, or, or necessarily the book. The book's like fucking eight, thousand fucking pages long um and i will i will freely admit that i've never read it because it's you know it's a fucking it's got to be a slog to get through the goddamn thing come on stephen king fucking edit anyway fucking it, it the movie pennywise eight inch action figure 14 points of articulation uh this is rated for eight and up um of course this is an older figure so um back before we knew the dangers of of eight inch clothed action figures and what they pose to children under 17 years of age um warning choking hazard small parks not suitable for children under three years ages eight and up so you figure that out there's like a five-year period where i guess it's kind of dangerous um but but it's super deadly to the children um, so, yeah, and it should be, because this is a clown that came from outer space to eat children, and he's not really a clown, he's an alien in, in some sort of fucking wacky disguise. And you can fucking do the comparisons of this and the NECA figure, but let me tell you something, that NECA figure costs 30 bucks, this, only $12.99. And as we turn the box around, we have a very nice minimalistic uh, design here. It doesn't look like whoever uh, designed this was afraid of the negative space. Um, I actually like the design on this. This is a, just because it's simple doesn't mean it's bad. And uh, for the uh, subject matter, fucking cool. It does the job. You don't need to have fucking uh, telling me all sorts of bullshit that I already know, but we're always gonna have our old friend, Nigo Marty, on the back of the box. <laughs> Why so serious? I just want to watch the world burn. I get a grin again and again with the right price of $12.99. And when they go to Walmart, I say, ship them all. All right, so he's, he's it, and he's from the movie, and he was played by Tim Curry. I don't know how how necessarily we got any sort of uh, official licensing or whatever. Um, there's got to be something on there. There's got to be a TM, a registered trademark uh, on there. I mean, in the photo, it does it does look it does look like him a little bit. So who gives a shit? Let's open this goddamn thing. See what it looks like on the inside. All right, here he is. It's uh, it's Tim Curry as uh, Pennywise the Clown. Um, he pretty much looks like the way you think he would. These boxes don't leave a ton to be um, 
you know, to be discovered once we open it up. He's got, you know, he's got the nice outfit and stuff. Um, let's get to the accessories, the, the fucking elephant in the room here. We, if you remember the Toonie Terrors episode, um, the, the balloons that came with the Pennywise's, um, they had an, they had like a wire on the, uh, on the inside of the string that uh, would, was flexible and would uh, conform to your your moldings of it. Uh, this um, does not, and um, he can't really hold it because he has those you know those Mego Barbie hands, and um, and so really the only way that you can hold it um, is uh, by like propping it up against his body like uh, like this. He's like, ha ha, look at my dick, ha ha ha, ha ha, that is a very popular joke. Uh, now, that is that is pretty much it, like, I mean, he's, he is what it is, it's a Mego figure, he's got the fucking 14 points of articulation, he poses pretty well, he's durable, he's a, you know, a good figure, and you could give this to a little kid, I mean, no one uh, fucking over the age of eight, though. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta fucking remember, you know, these, these earlier ones, you know, these are good for the kids, but the, uh, the, the later on, um, you know, it's only 17 and up, only 17 and up. So at the end of the day, balloon aside, um, it, this is a pretty cool figure and for $12.99 at retail, um, you're gonna pay a whole lot less than you would have, less than half of what you would for the NECA figure and, um, it's just as good. It's it's really just as good. Maybe the sculpt on the NECA figure is a little bit better on the face, um, but he's as horrifying as you'd like him to be. And you know, if you're not a big fucking toy nerd and you put this on your on your fucking desk at work or whatever, you're a big fan of uh, Pennywise and, and it and so on and so forth. Nobody's gonna know the goddamn difference between this and the NECA figure. Only you're gonna know the difference is if you paid more. So at the end of the day, it's a good figure. Migo did a good job on these horror figures, and there's really not a lot of shit to talk. So lastly today we have the Invisible Man with the exclamation point. Uh, ages eight and up. Again, this is the one of the older figures that are more safe for handling uh, for children. Uh, you know, again, those later ones made of poison. Um, eight inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, official edition action figure with original detail and quality. Mine is number one. 95 not too fucking shabby actually a pretty early number on this one um you've got the the neat little art of the uh of the invisible man wrapped up in uh in gauze or or whatever the fuck he he wants to wrap himself up in who gives a shit he comes with a little with a little beaker of invisibility potion or something and as you can see he's Invisible! He's made of clear plastic. Is his entire body made of clear plastic? We're gonna find out today when we open this fucking figure up. But before we do that, let's take a look at the back of the box. And as you can see, and as you can see on the back of the box, we have uh, the same art from the cover of the box and the, the same old shit that we did see on these old ones. Um, the, the Marty Abrams presents Mego Trivia. How does Griffin become invisible? Well, the answer is by altering his body's refractive index to neither absorb or reflect light. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so there you go. And, and let's not all, we're not gonna forget. We're not gonna forget. Look who's here. It's a Marty Mego. Anyway, um, so here he is. Let's get him out of the box and see what he looks like. All right, so here he is. It's the invisible man. Um, he comes with this little beaker that he can kind of hold. Briefly, his uh, his the plastic that he's made out of is a little softer than we're used to, um, and we're gonna take a look and see what he looks like underneath the clothes. The naked Invisible Man. Um, the sculpt, if you if you couldn't tell, is the same sculpt they use for for fucking fake ass Al Bundy, um, Ed O'Neill's weird brother Fred O'Neill, um, and uh, and so yeah, he's got a squishy head. 
and he's got squishy hands and um and he's wearing this fucking his reservoir dogs fucking suit that would have been fucking cool had had we got reservoir dogs figures hey there's an idea for a custom fucking hey there you go some other guy on some other job is is, is fucking mr black hey, you're fucking mr clear anyway let's fucking get him out of the clothes and see what he looks like under there Well, so here he is. It's a naked, invisible man. Um, wait a minute. The the way he looks, this could end up being a custom. Uno momento. ClassicTVToys.com um, provides uh, these, which are a little pair of blue trunks ice blue trunks which in um in this he'll become ice man look out true believers it's spider-man and his amazing friends ice man fucking awesome <laughs> there he is <laughs> an easy peasy custom uh special bonus custom on the halloween hangover episode um but for now this is the invisible man and if you're not a fan of the invisible man you can also give him a little pair of blue underwears and you got yourself an ice man baby well that's it for Mego Horror, at least for this year. Don't tell me they're gonna keep making these things. They sure are, Jess. And with future installments including the Universal Monsters and the Hammer films, you can bet that I'll be picking them up. Well, at least Halloween is over. Yep, and that means it's Mego Vember. What the fuck? I was only kidding. But we are gonna be looking at some more eight inch clothed figures, so it might as well be. Yep, that's it. I really do feel sick. Raz Holly, hit the music!